Um, I actually fancy Logan Paul to beat him. It was a close fight, the first one. Um, but I feel he's going to learn from his uh, mistakes and he'll train harder this time and win it. I think it's very good for the sport of boxing. For non-sporting people who are very famous in their own right, to come to the sport brings new fans, brings new attention. Um, two, two computer guys are topping the bill at Staples Centre with world champions on their undercard. Two guys who've never had a fight ever before professionally in their pro debuts uh, are probably going to sell out Staples Centre. And I hear that Devin Haney's going to be on the undercard, who's, who's a really good world, like a world prospect to be a world champion. And also Billy Joe Saunders, who's a two division world champion, is probably going to be on the undercard of these, these um, YouTubers. YouTubers. So, and plus many more as well. It's fantastic for boxing, for sure, because they've both got millions of followers. Logan Paul's got, I don't know how many followers he's got, lots of followers. And so is KSI, so it brings all those people across to boxing too, which is it's an amazing thing. Unbelievable, actually. That's I wish them both, both well, and I hope they earn plenty of money. I hope they get paid well for it, because they deserve it. Because they've got more profile than most boxers in the, in the sport anyway. They're bringing asses to seats. Exactly. But any thoughts, though, with the scribes and sentiment that... Uh, it's making a mockery of this game. I don't think so. I think any anybody who can spread exposure on boxing and, and sell it to, to millions of people and get millions of people to subscribe and tune in, do a fantastic job. 